what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here on a new video, guys. Today, we're going to be reacting to top 10 things you should never do in the UK. Okay? Wagwan. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you are excited. This is going to be my first time checking this out. And let's see how it goes, guys. Top 10 things we should never do in the UK. Now, how do we talk less right on react more? Let's get into today's video. Let's start by saying that in no way are we trying to scare you away from visiting the UK. But if you are a tourist or an international student in the UK, then wouldn't it be better to know a few things that could offend people there? We mean, you don't want to hurt anyone with your actions or words, let alone get into trouble in a foreign land. Damn. People would understand that you may take a while to adjust to the new surroundings and customs, but if you want to save yourself from embarrassing situations as a newcomer in the UK, we have compiled a list of things that you should avoid doing there. Number one, calling the United Kingdom, England. Before you take the flight to anywhere in the UK, know its full form. UK stands for the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Do you realize what this means? The UK consists of four countries, Scotland, England, Northern Ireland, and Wales. Moreover, each country has its own distinctive culture, national identity, and government. So, before you begin your sentence with, England's landscapes are, confirm that you really are in England, and not hmm. Scotland, which is a separate country. Number two, well. ask if they know the Queen. How would you feel if some tourist in the US asked if you knew Donald Trump? You'd call that person plain stupid for assuming that everyone breathing the US <laughs> air knows the president. So, how do you expect people in the UK to personally know the royal family? More than 60 million people live in the UK, and over 8 million of those live in Greater London alone. There is no way that these people know their monarch more than the internet knows. You won't offend people with this question, but will definitely make them laugh. In your face! Number 3. Block the escalator. Escalators are common in most countries, and we don't give much thought about the do's and don'ts while we are standing on it. Well, you'd be surprised to know that there is indeed a wrong way to stand on an escalator, at least in the UK. It is an unspoken really? rule in this part of the world that if you want to stand still, you should stay on the right-hand side. Why? Well, the left-hand side of the escalator is reserved for those people who are in a hurry. You know, the lot who believe that by running through the escalator and saving about 30 seconds, they would get to their destination on time. Just remember, if you don't want to be pushed past, then stay on the right. Number 4. Jump now a queue. Many of us don't give much importance to a queue. You know, the ones we see outside a dessert kiosk. Because, well, an ice cream craving can't wait. But don't do that while you're in the UK, simply because that is bad manners. Even if you think it is a petty thing and shouldn't annoy anyone, you aren't doing it here. Before you attempt any such adventure, know that those people ahead in the queue came here first and deserve to be served first. Plus, why do you want any inconvenience in the form of a fight? Stay in the queue, wait for your turn, and all will go swiftly. Number 5. Pick up a rented car. We don't mean to say that driving in this country is illegal, but you can get yourself and others in trouble by driving. Huh, we have created a nice bit of suspense here. We deserve a pat on the back. Jokes aside, the thing is that you will have to drive on the left side of the road here. And if you come from a nation where the opposite is the norm, you might have a tough time learning this. When you are new to a place, such experiments are the last thing you should be doing, right? Plus, yeah. remember you don't know your way around, so you'd be consulting maps on a busy road while getting used to driving on the wrong side. Number 6. Talk about money. You don't ask someone how much they earn or how much money they have in their pocket unless you are family or very close friends, right? It sounds rude. Come on, that's basic decency. People in the UK might feel offended if you ask too many questions about money. In fact, boasting about your wealth is also not going to be appreciated. So keep the big bucks in your pocket. Number 7. Greet inappropriately. 
Meeting someone for the first time and experiencing that awkward situation where you go for a hug while the other stops you with a handshake. Ever been there? If you don't want to find yourself in that situation in the UK, just go for a handshake because they aren't too comfortable making physical contact with strangers. Hugging and kissing on the cheek is reserved for people they know well and are comfortable with. Oh, and what do you say when someone asks you, how are you? By no means is this a cue that you can start off your saga of nasal allergies if you don't want the person to never see your face again. Every how are you is followed by fine, thank you, and nothing else. True. Number eight, fake their accent. No matter how many times you have practiced the British or Scottish accent, don't use it because it probably isn't that good. People aren't going to like it if you force their accent, and especially when you are doing it all wrong. You will make it look like you aren't a part of them and are desperate to lose your identity and mix with them. Wouldn't it be better if you first make friends with natives of Wales and then try a Welsh accent? Number nine, That's true. voice opinions about Brexit. We know that Brexit is the topic of discussion in pretty much the entire world, but you can't be walking around spitting your views about it when you are in the UK. People there are directly related to it, and your views can be taken personally. And what happens when someone takes your casual opinion personally and in a negative light? Yes, they get offended and might beat you up. Okay, maybe we went too far with the beating up part, but you still don't want to risk it. Number 10. Mess with the Queen's Guard. Did that bushy yeah, hat fool about you? Us. Oh, people, the Queen's Guard isn't your friend, and you aren't forgetting that. You may fool around with him a bit, and he won't pay much attention, let alone punish you. But there is a line drawn, and you must never cross it, because the consequences won't be pretty. Never, we repeat, never touch the guard. Because once you do that, prepare yourself for a world of hurt. Do you want that gun, the one that was fascinating you, to be pointed at you? If not, maintain a respectable distance from the guard. He deserves it. How was your experience in the UK? Tell us in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel if you like this video. And while you're here... Okay. I think I know a couple of them. And to respect the guard, I know... Don't touch them. <laughs> I know about that one. Also, the thinking of the accent. Just be you. That is the best <laughs> to avoid so much necessary drama and so some insults. Because but some sometimes when you stay in the country for like let me say going to six months or a year, you can like get used to that asset and you want to copy them and try it out for yourself if you can actually sound like them. That's how people learn how to speak different language. So it's 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 actually not a bad thing, but you have to be more confidence, try it around people who you know than outsiders who get it to create some kind of like fight or abuse or insults. Let <laughs> me put it like that. Well, everything here yeah, was really, really nice. Like it gives me, it gave me head up. I've never been to, I've never been to the UK. It's kind of like reasonable enough. The advice he gave were pretty good, pretty good. And outside of driving, um, stay by the, I think the left hand, I think so. Is it the left or the right? Yeah, the left hand. Um, that's smart. I also don't call everywhere England. There's United Kingdom is be made off of Scotland, um, England, North Ireland, and Wales. So you should not mess that up. And <laughs> make sure you get it right because I, I, it's it's can, can get some people pissed, especially when you don't know about where they are trying for who are we are talking about because a lot of international people. Uh, for foreign lands, miss this a lot, and I know people who are indigenous of uh, who stays in United Kingdom, um, in any of those countries can get kind of like why are you generalizing everything? England is just like a country on its own. Why are you using England as you get that? So it might get people kind of like surprised. But you once someone made such statements, you already know the person is a foreigner, and also asking them about. The Queen, which she okay, she, I repeat to her, um, peace be unto her. She's she's dead right now, so let's say the, the king, King Charles. So, asking them about the King Charles, and I'd be like, wow, the same way you, you, well, you know, that's what I know. <laughs> They'll be like, I don't know much, I don't know much because some people barely pay attention to the um, the Queen or the King, yeah, those. Because they already have a prime minister, so their attention is also 
on the Prime Minister. So I kind of like get where they're coming from, and it's reasonable. It's reasonable. <sighs> Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video with us. Many as you can. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, guys. You know how to do it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag, like an old lady I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers Pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitch, in my bed, I got scales all